Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Ahmad Sapon bin Hassan from Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak. My research title, Measuring Safety Practice in Mechanical Workshop. Recently, safety policy have become a priority. Significant effort has been made to implement each pro proactively. One of common approach in risk mitigation measure is the implementation of the risk assessment. This approach is used by occupational health and safety practitioner and by employing it, the likelihood of the incidents occurring can be reduced, controlled and eliminated. First assume this is the responsibility of administrator to provide the safe laboratory experience for students and adults enrolled in their school. They then took the responsibility of providing an accident-free environment and then institutional program to empathize effective safety practice. As one of major TV institutions in, in Malaysia, Polytechnic Malaysia has been a major contributor in producing quality, talented, technical ta talents in helping Malaysia to achieve a better industrial development and competitive reputation. It is important to note that excellent and high quality techni technical education is essential for producing the skilled professionals. As a result, students will be heavily engaged in the technical workshop, putting them at the risk of injury. <clears throat> Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak houses a number of laboratories and engineering workshops as a technical institute where students can gain hands-on experience from the fundamental to the most advanced laboratory and workshop there is a chance that the operator consisting of the technician and student will be put in danger when handling the equipment hence PKS being the owner of the laboratory and engineering workshop must ensure that the danger and harm do not fall on their employee and students. The objective of this study is to measure the level of safety practice of mechanical workshop in Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak. Literature Review Workplace Accidents Accidents are a favorable occurrence that are typically accompanied by unfavorable after effects that frequently carry the risk of personal harm, asset loss, and environmental damage. Safety practice in the workshop management. Due to the various risks, engineering workshops is the one is the most hazardous area of the institution. Machine handling and use of hand tools. In practice, demonstrational by lecturer are required to educate students how to use a lead while simultaneously monitoring the student. It is also anticipated that the learning period is four hours per day. Workshop and safe work area. The condition of machinery, work tools, the nature of work and the production process is related to the hazard or occurrence of items that can hurt people, processes and environment surrounding the industry, so it should be closely monitored. The research methodology for this study will utilize a quantitative data collecting through question and survey. This study employ the use of question as an interview as to collect both quantitative and qualitative data pertaining to the study. A close-ended question will be designed to gather all the required data. A five-point Likert scale is used for purpose of this research work 
this will be no neutral option to ensure the respondent have a stand of answering the question. The purpose of the questionnaire is to measure the safety practice in the mechanical workshop. The data on information collected were presented in the table, form and chart. The risk level are calculated and documented based on typical type of hazard and a laboratory classification. Result and discussion. Respondent background. Respondent gender a total a total of 172 respondents were involved in the survey. 100 of seats of the respondent identify as male, while 60 seats identify themselves as female. Respondent H. From the total 172 respondents, the survey categorized them into three group H. A total of 161 respondents at the age between 20 and below, and then 11 of them are at 21 till 25 years old. Respondent program group. Regarding of their designation, the highest number of res respondents are from DKM, a group which is the higher respondent. 43.6% and followed by DAD 31.98% and then followed by DPU 12.76% and the last DTP 11.63%. Frequency of using the workshop, for example, link and welding. From table 4.1 that show that require using the wash the show the frequency of using the workshop the lead and welding. The highest number of the usage frequency are weekly 91.28% of respondent daily of respondent daily frequently is 7.56% and monthly at just 1.16%. Items listed under B category are clustered under general practice. Meanwhile, in the C and the H category are under work environment. The work environment category will cover various safety measures that control the safety level of the engineering workshop. For general practice, it is indicated that C out of seven items were found to be in the very often category. 4.5 average index out of five. Why only one category in the some, sometime category? The highest ranking questions are B5 with the average index rating 4.16, while B1 has, has an average index score 3.47. Is the lowest. As a result, the average average indicator for all six objects is 3.93. Meanwhile, for working environment category, the S13 items are recorded is very often. Five items are under always categories, and the one item are categorized as sometimes. The highest average in that value is in that D2 at 4.74, while the lowest is H1 with 3.38. The total average for all items from item B1 until H2 is 4.12. The value is under very often category, signaling the safety practices in workshop a mechanical washer is at good level. However, it is important to note that two items, the B1 and H1, is not the satisfied level of performance. Item B1 show that many students read the manual guideline sheet before performing tasks, while the item H1 indicate the some student indicate the ventilation hood could 
quite lacking and underperform. All of this could help the administrator in providing a better learning environment to the students. As a, as a overall result, the, this demonstrate that in general, welding and machine, wo make, machine workshop safety practice are well performed and observed. <clears throat> to conclude, for this study, related to the state result, it is not solely the obligation of the employee to ensure that there is a secure and risk-free working environment. Workers have responsibility to participate as well as in order to ensure that their workplace is devoid of danger and hazard of any kind. As a result, the majority of the typical incident that occur at the workplace should be avoided with the collaboration of both employer and employee who consider this is their responsibility to avoid accidents at their place of employ employment. Employee are obligated to do risk assessment regarding the potential of mischief that they may take place on the job. And they are also to require to make any necessary adjustment to the health and safety protocol that they have put in practice. Therefore, workers are required to adhere scapulars to the health and safety and protocol implemented by their employee and the assist in the prevention of accident on the job in order to ensure that their employees are able to conduct the operation effective and efficient manner. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.